indifference curve analysis. At class 12 level, we are just going to introduce some basic things about this topic. But when you go to the university, you will find that this topic is one of the most important topic of nearly every topic in microeconomics. Before I start this topic, I'd like to emphasize throughout the explanation of this topic, we make an important assumption that consumer consumes only two goods. <clears throat> I told you earlier, this is our limitation. This is the limitation of geometry. We are going to represent this concept on a diagram. And diagram has its own limitations. We have only two axes, X and Y. Therefore, we can show at the most only two goods, X and Y, on this. So throughout, we are going to assume that the consumer consumes only two goods. Remember, this assumption seems to be a little unrealistic. But if we go into the practice, we will find that this is not that unrealistic as we may think. For example, in your family, you must have noticed your parents making this statement quite often. Khane pari itne paise nikal jate hain, to baki chizon ke liye paise bhot kam padte hain. So what is in their mind? In their mind, there are two groups of goods. One, food items. Second, non-food items. So if you just think in terms, not only in terms of two goods, but in terms of two groups of goods, this assumption will not look much unrealistic. Explanation of this topic involves basically the explanation of two main concepts. One is concept of indifference curve and second is concept of budget line. First, we will take up the concept of indifference curve. What does it mean? Before we define what an indifference curve is, let us first take an example which will ultimately lead us to the meaning of the concept of indifference curve. We take a numerical example in which we are going to assume that a consumer consumes only two goods. The numerical example is before you. The numerical example is entitled Indifferent Schedule. I hope you know the meaning of schedule. You have passed through 11th class and you know schedule simply means a table giving you some information. 
So this is an indifference schedule. We have four columns. A column showing different combinations, the names of different combinations. Then good X and good Y. The two make a combination. So for example, first combination is 1X plus 8Y. Second combination is 2X plus 4Y. Third combination is 3X plus 2Y. Fourth combination is 4X plus 1Y. Remember, these are all four combinations. What does the fourth column means? We will take up a little later. First, let us concentrate only on these combinations. अब एक बात आपको ध्यान में रखना पड़ेगा ये टेबल हमने कोई अपनी मर्जी से ही नहीं, नहीं बना ली है इसको बनाने के पीछे कुछ बातें हम मानकर चले हैं दिस टेबल इज बेस्ड ऑन सर्टेन एग्जाम्पन one of the basic assumption and the fundamental assumption is just don't forget that assumption because you will need that assumption again and again if there is any question on indifference curve analysis just keep in mind what do what do these different combinations have in common now i come to that assumption the assumption is that total utility i hope you know the meaning of utility by now satisfaction derived from the consumption of each combination let me repeat total utility derived from the consumption of the two goods in each combination is the same what does it mean 